It's my neighbor. It's pretty ironic that I'm doing a video about editing sound and removing noise. And my neighbor's cutting his grass. Editing audio for dummies like me, take one. About a month or two ago, I was approached by a company called Accusonus to have a look at their Era 4 plugin bundle. The Era 4 plugin bundle is an audio plugin bundle so that you can clean up your audio in post. And I'll be the first to admit that audio is not one of my strong points. I'm not an audio technician. I know roughly how to mic somebody up. I know how to get good audio. My setup is very good, but there are still things you need to do in post in order to clean up your audio and make it sound as good as it possibly can be. And that's kind of where Era 4 and now Era 5, which is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, comes in handy. We're going to have a look at all the plugins. I'll show you some examples along the way and I'll give you my thoughts as we go. So make sure you've got some good headphones because you're going to want to hear the difference and let's get on with it. The first thing I want to point you to is the audio cleanup assistant. This thing is something new that came in with Era 5 from what I could tell and it really does lay things out really nicely. So you've got five slots you can use and you insert your plugins into each of those slots so you can view all of the plugins on the same page, which is extremely streamlines everything, makes everything so easy and efficient, and I am all about efficiency. Firstly, I want to talk about the D-Clipper. The D-Clipper is something that I got to say I haven't used outside of tests, obviously, because I have tested all of these plugins. But when I am recording audio, I am very, very careful making sure that it's not peaking and not distorting. But in situations where you maybe can't be checking levels at the same time as doing other things, or you can't be there for the recording and you need to fix this one clip that maybe you can't re-record, I can definitely see this tool coming in handy for those situations. But I have recorded a test. So let's have a listen to the test and you can see what I mean. I can definitely see this being helpful to people who just can't afford to re-record what they're doing. I can definitely see this being helpful to people who just can't afford to re-record what they're doing. So let's talk about the de and the plosive remover. Now, Accusonus do offer a pro version of these tools as well as a standard version of the tools. The regular gives you standard controls and the pro version obviously gives you pro controls. It gives you a little bit more nuance over what you can edit and where that effect is going into play. There's also presets that you can select. So if you do have uh, very, very specific issues and you just want a very quick solution, you can see if one of those presets work for you depending on what you've recorded. I do want to point out here that the layout of these plugins is really, really good because it's just so simple to understand. So here's an example of the plosive and the de being used on a piece of audio. Personally, I have a lot of plosives and s's in my speech, and I think it's really nice to be able to remove them with ease. Personally, I have a lot of plosives and s's in my speech, and I think it's really nice to be able to remove them with ease. Another thing that I use in pretty much every single video that I do since I've had these tools available to me is the noise remover. That was good timing. In my case, I live in a residential area. I live next to a main strip and there's a lot of commotion happening on outside. A lot of people tending to their gardens at times when I'm filming. But I also do get the hum from the lights as well that I'm using that can play an effect into my audio. And I like to be able to easily remove that bottom layer at that background noise just to get a very clear dialogue. You can also remove reverb in pretty much the same way as well. It's pretty ironic that I'm doing a video about editing sound and removing noise and my neighbor's cutting his grass. It's pretty ironic that I'm doing a video about editing sound and removing noise and my neighbor's cutting his grass. So auto EQ, voice deepener and voice leveler. These tools uh, I haven't used too much outside of tests like with the D clipper. They're things that I just don't go to that often. Auto EQ was so impressive. It analyzes your audio to make sure that you've got the best EQ settings for what you've recorded, and then you can adjust it to add more clarity or more air or whatever you need to, to get it sounding the best that it can be. It's just so quick and easy. Auto EQ was so impressive. It analyzes your audio to make sure that you've got the best EQ settings for what you've recorded, and then you can adjust it to add more clarity or more air or whatever you need to, to get it sounding the best that it can be. It's just so quick and easy. Voice deepener, gotta say it's something that I don't really use at all because, well, I don't need it. 
it doesn't really suit my voice. But it does give oomph back to vocals, so I think that's really useful in some cases where it may be lacking, it may be a little bit tinny, and you need to give a little bit more life to the dialogue. Voice leveler, on the other hand, that is pretty cool. I can see that being used in situations where maybe you're interviewing somebody who doesn't really know how to use a mic, and they might be moving backwards, forwards, around, and the recording might be a little bit up and down and a bit all over the place. So the voice leveler does exactly what it says on the box, and it just evens out those differences and makes it all kind of level. So here's an example. This is a very strange way to record audio, but I can definitely see this being useful, especially when things can just happen as simple as somebody just turning their head. This is a very strange way to record audio, but I can definitely see this being useful, especially when things can just happen as simple as somebody just turning their head. Now, as somebody with a basic understanding of sound, like I said, these tools are really, really good for somebody like me making content online, but not necessarily versed in sound production or audio production or post-production or anything like that. It just makes me a lot more confident in what I'm doing. And I do think that another point to make here is they're very quick and easy to use to the point where if you're in a deadline, if you're a videographer and you need to get files to a client, but you just need a quick solution to fix issues or even just amp up your already good recording because that's the thing, like, you can record things well, I try to record things well, but things happen. For instance, the lawnmower outside. <laughs> things happen and you do need to fix those things to make your audio sound as good as possible. What I'm saying is you can always make things sound better in post. I'm not saying do it all in post, by all means record good audio to start with, but these tools definitely do help. Link of the week. I actually remembered to record it this time. If you paid attention last week, I spoke about uh, the fact that Australia doesn't have a treaty with the Aboriginal people, which is just ridiculous. Now all the way over the other side of the world, the Mi'kmaq fishers in Nova Scotia are being attacked by non-indigenous fishers just for living by the rights outlined in their treaty. It's a very big and complicated issue to discuss here at the end of the video, so I would recommend that you go check out the links in the description and keep informed. So all the relevant links are down below. You can also check out a link to Accusonus if you want to check that out. If you want to check out the Era 5 bundle, I would highly recommend it if it's something that would benefit you in your post-production workflow. Thank you to Accusonus and thank you so much much for watching. I'll see you next time.